This small village near Chernihiv has been absolutely destroyed. You can just take a look around and get a sense of the scope of the destruction. About 80% of the homes here were shelled. Uh, those that are still standing, obviously not livable. We've had the opportunity to speak to a number of people in the community. They've actually come back because there are small plots of land that they're planting potatoes and carrots, uh, food items that will sustain them going forward and into the winter months. Uh, a number of the people who ended up staying here and hiding in their basements, which are not basements that we would know, but more like uh, small root cellars outside, spent about 21 days hiding, hoping to survive. One woman said that, you know, she's lived here all her life. She was originally from Chernobyl, but her house burnt down in Chernobyl during the nuclear disaster, and now she's here, and her house here was destroyed. The level of pain, of trauma, is just unbelievable. So many people crying when they're talking about the lives that they once had here, that there was a very close community. They are waiting for help. They are waiting for supplies. They are waiting for temporary shelters. And this is one of those areas that is in desperate need. Crystal Gamancing, Novoselivka, Ukraine.